I don't want to make it look like I just had it easy. I want to have some layers to me. I don't want to look like the girl that's just sitting there and it's like, girl, she got a rich boyfriend. They say thug, da da da. Which is true, he did. But when it comes to my music journey, I figured this shit out. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J-Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J-Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout-out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Let's get it started. Mm-hmm. What's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast um, episode. Shit, we had like all, over 100, but I had to start over. We moved, you know. We getting it popping. Um, uh, you just go by Carlay or Jarek or Carlay? Um, Carlay. Carlay? Mm-hmm. That's like your alter ego, right? You said that like years ago. Carlay is my middle name, but um, I feel like when I started doing music, I don't know. I feel I need it. Like it make me. It helps me to cope with. I feel like my music side. Like I feel like you know Beyonce when she had Sasha Fierce. I feel like Sasha was like her kind of like bad side. Like her, you mm. know. So Carlay is like my you know artist. I'm an artist mode. You're an artist mode. Yeah. So we got Carlay in the building. Everybody. You feel um, me? I'm pretty mm. sure. Y'all know the face, y'all know the name, man. You've been popping for a long time now. I feel mm-hmm. like you've been popping <sighs> before it was really like a popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, 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 um, I compliment a lot of people on my on my show, but when I give people compliments, I mean it. You feel me? Thank I feel you. like I was talking to my girl about you, and she was like, you know, she was like one of them girls before them girls was them girls. I ain't gonna say for no real? names, but yeah. Thank you. Like, yeah. Thank you. That's, that's that's what she said. That so means like, a lot. Thank you. Okay, so like you basically cross so a lot of people can walk. I feel like that. I ain't gonna lie. Say it. Listen, man. On show. I feel like that. All I right. Do. Um, let me ask you this. Not to start no shit, cause we ain't gonna say no names. Mm-hmm. Just curious. Do I ever get frustrating when you crawl for somebody to walk, and then they start? I don't know. Let's say running, and then it's like, fuck. Like I supposed to be further than what I am. Right. But I really opened the door for so many people who farther than what I am now, I guess, if that's the question yeah, to ask. It definitely, like, you think, of, I think about it, and I feel like, you know, that's natural, but I'm at a space now to where I kind of feel like the real ones know. Like, the people who really follow my journey, they know for real. So it's like, I'll be out, like, right now with you. Like, I come across people to me who are in, you know, high places or in a good, posi- a good position in their life, and I feel like they always tell me that. So, I don't know, I kind of get, like, my accolades from that like that kind of just give me a chip on my shoulder because it'll be like people business people like execs i don't know gangsters they be like you know you've been like that chick like you know like we know this is what they know you know and i feel like the people who don't know like they gonna see in due time because i feel like it's a time to speak on everything and it's a time to pop your shit for real so i feel like right now it's just i'm trying to drop hard music have tunnel vision and then it's like I pop my shit when the time right. No, 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 the time right now. The time is it right is. now. We doing an interview for a reason. It is. Listen, I tell everybody when they come on this show. Listen, first of all, you gave. I'm gonna take my roses as I as I see fit, right? Okay. Because you was like people like you, and then you you follow that with like big people. So thank you for that. I appreciate uh-huh. that. You think I'm one of the big it, people, but yeah, but not yet. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. But anyway, I say that to say. I tell everybody when they come on my show like yo. I'm on a rise too, so we're gonna talk some shit, but we're gonna get into some shit too. Yeah, let's right? get real. I'm, I'm, I love that. I need. So, that. when was the last time you felt like that? Or I know when we talking, right? In general, you feel like yo, people who know know, right? But we can't ignore the times where you do get frustrated and you and you look at it and then you start thinking about it when you even if you you shouldn't be thinking about it. When the last time you was like, man, damn, like when is it my turn? Or like, look at you. Know what I'm saying, yeah. when was the last time you felt human for a um, second? Shoot, I mean, I do get that feeling like it, like it'll come, but then it's kind of like I'm telling you, like I had to really learn how to deal with the shit because if not, it'll drive you crazy. When the like, last time you felt like that though? Mm, not too long ago. Every now and then, like Whoa. right, like right 
with me about to drop, I kind of get that feeling like I see a lot of stuff on the internet. To me, everybody entitled to their own opinion, but I feel like I got something solid. Like, all my music isn't always about pussy and ass. I feel like, or doing this, or getting a nigga, tricking a nigga. Like, sometimes my music just about feeling good and loving myself and popping my shit as a female, you know, and I feel like that should be appreciated a Talk lot more. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll see, I'm like, bro, what is up with my, is it my formula? What is it? But I think I know now. I think I need to just, like, walk in my destiny for real. Like, not that I wasn't before, but it's like, Sometimes you can be a little bit too, like, humble. Like, I know they say, oh, everybody preach, like, be humble. You need to be, that's how you, sometimes people can, you know, um, they can, like, basically tell you to be humble so much to where you forget who you are and, like, you know, people kind of, you know, run over you and everything that you, like, you know, grew to be. So I feel like now I'm at a place to where it's, like, honestly, fuck that, like, Confidence is everything. It is. So I feel like now it's like I'm kind of claiming that now. Like, not that I wasn't confident, but now it's like, you that bitch. Like, bro, yeah. like before it was cool to have a rapper boyfriend. Like, you really genuinely did this shit. I didn't yeah. wake up looking for a rapper boyfriend. And we talking about happened. years, though. You know what I'm saying? So. And it ain't just a rapper boyfriend, though. Come on, we can't. Come on. Yeah, no, because it, on, it, like, it, it's. But honestly, though, it's a thing now. Like, it's girls who really aspire to be or get with a man or get with somebody who is an artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just for that look or it the, can, the thing, it's like, and it's not really based on just like a good vibe. Like I get we really that. vibing, you know. But I'm a, listen. If you ain't gonna be cocky, I'll be. I'll be. I'm gonna be confident for y'all. Right. Pop your shit for you. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if it, every first of all, it's not a lot of rappers out there that are like thug. Like let's like, let's just put that right there. Right. You know we thug is amongst few. Yeah. So if we got amongst few, then the girlfriends is gonna be amongst few. You right. get what I'm trying exactly. to say? The ones that do have girlfriends. Yeah. So even the ones that the girlfriends that might have rapper boyfriends. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, they yeah. Ain't thug, yeah. So pop your shit, and I'm giving yeah, you no, the true, room to true, pop true, your true, shit. True, like, it's true, okay. True, you know what I mean? Right, right. Um, we was going back because I wanted to start this interview um a little bit different. I want to ask you a question since we was on it though. All right. You was like sometimes you got to be confident. Mm hmm. Uh, you spoke on that. Um, it was the last interview you actually did. You spoke on um, the importance of confidence, right? Right. But you never really explained. I wish they would have asked. But shout out to um, them. Shit. The progress report. Progress report. I yes. sure love you. For me, shout out to them. Um, but I wish they would have asked the question. What was the difference that you think between confident and cockiness? Because you gave me co uh, confidence and you, you told me how important it was. But what's the difference? Like, I feel like cockiness is. And that's such a good question. I feel like cockiness is kind of like um, not having any, um, let me think good about the words. Take your time. I feel like confident uh, cockiness is like, you don't have any regard, honestly, about your peers. Mm. People who are cocky tend to think only about themselves as an entirety. Like they don't think about everybody else around them. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like cockiness is just like you kind of just walk around and you shit on people and you really don't care because you feel like you can do that. You can do that exactly. And it's like a lot of people get here and they feel like I'm confident. You're not confident. You're an asshole. You know. Mm. You know. You don't treat the people around you good, or you're not like. Um, I feel like you really. Like, what's your purpose mm -hmm. besides being like, I'm the shit, I'm the shit, I'm the shit. Right. You're supposed to feel like you the shit, but it's just like, it got to come with a purpose. Like, what's your mission? Mission. And mine is, I feel like, to tell my story about how I did go through, at one point, just like my mental health was in a bad space. Um, and how I had to coach my own self back to, you know, feeling like whole again. I feel like that's what I want. Also, with being confident. So, I feel like a lot of cocky people, they just kind of like, it's just for them. More money, more this, more fame, more that. Or... You know, even if you could play a sport, you could do anything and be cocky. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just kind of feel like, fuck everybody else. Like, nothing else matters but you. I feel like confidence is being sure and be, being very sure of yourself and the path that you on. And it's kind of like, you know, no matter how many no's you get, you know, you, you still believe in yourself. And it's kind of like, you know, I feel like. People who are cocky, they go and they burn bridges and they don't care about them. Me, I'm confident, but I don't do that mm. unless it's a ba some uh, something bad. That you want to walk away from? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like with me, like more so, like um, like I don't know. I feel like my confidence is like I, I care about other people. I care about people around me. I care about what's going on in the world. You know, as a woman, and I'll never go somewhere and feel like I'm so high up that nobody else matter. Like mm. my friends, like. 
I don't, you don't gotta be famous to hang around with me. You don't gotta be this or, you know, I feel like being around a lot of cocky people, they so like, I gotta go, I gotta get in this room, da 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 da, da. Like, so I, I feel can, like I'm that girl, I don't. So basically you said I can hang with you for real. Like, yeah, like, I'm, like I'm, little yeah, old me. Like, yeah, like. Say less, say less. we gonna, all, we gonna you know, be outside, you feel me? So. so, but that was a great question though. I no, feel I appreciate like a lot that. of people don't know and it's more stuff that go with being cocky. What would you think, what would you say? Um. You know, I never really thought about it. When you when you said it, I just thought it was interesting. But you know, um, confidence, I think, is definitely a personality trait. You mm -hmm. feel me? I think it's something within, right? I think, um, but not just, when I say within, I mean the real kind. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we had these, I had these conversations and people always saying what, si what, what sounds right, but it's not what, what, what is exhibit, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And what they exhibit. And what I mean by that is we are human. Right. So even when you say um, you've been through your, your your trials and tribulations when it comes to your mental, right? Like right. you you've been you had down spells, but you also you also had high spirits at times. Right. But just because I get myself together, don't mean I can't go back and have a bad time. Yeah. And that, and that don't mean anything about me. I say the same thing with confidence, right? And not to prolong my answer, but I feel like with confidence, I feel like it's something that you exhibit. Right. Throughout the day, so e even when you have your your down spirits, you can be down and you can recognize that you're down. But I know I'm gonna get through this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cockiness I like is that. like. I feel like cockiness is is blindness. It is. Yeah, you That's can, a like, good one. You, yeah. you, you can't even recognize that you aren't there yet. You no, can't even seriously. recognize. You feel me? Like you can't even recognize that I'm going through a down spell and it's because of me or I'm gonna get through this. It's like you blame it on somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like cockiness is everything ex except for self. Right. And confidence is just really just exhibiting itself and understanding that this is where I'm at and this is where I'm go going to be at and recognizing where I came from and appreciating my small wins as, as, as they come. No, like. that was great. No. And I even needed to hear that because that's something else about cockiness. It is. It's like blindness. And, I mean, we kind of, like, touch along the same things, but that's basically what I'm saying. Um, and it's crazy because you would be surprised. A lot of people don't realize when they being cocky, though. Mm. Like, they don't realize when it's just, like, Oh shit! I'm a, I'm gonna do this regardless. I'm a, and it's like no, you're not. You're, yeah. really, you're really going here. Like you don't know, you know. And then it's just like I'm. I've been in like amongst the industry for a minute, so I see a lot of cocky people. I mean, they might not think it or whatever, might not think it. But I mean, that's what I see is cockiness. I see like a lot of people kind of just like brush off people. Right. You know, now you have no idea. Yeah. Who like, you talking to or what? What I could even do for you? Exactly. I have no clue. And I remember. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no. I remember um, I went to this party. I'm not going to say a person's name. Right. And I was talking to somebody, and I was trying to get an interview right, with her or whatever. And her attitude was just like, it was disgusting. It was like, but like me, I don't really take things personally. But mm -hmm. I was just thinking like, damn, that's crazy. Like, that's just wild or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't even know what party it was. I don't even know the girl name. But I know she was definitely important. Like, she was like a big promoter or some shit like that. Right. But whatever the case may be, I'm like, damn. Like, how she, like, it's okay to say no because like, bro, Everybody not gonna do yeah. what they. You know what I'm saying? I know my shit. I still got a girl sometimes too. But it's the way she did it, right? It wasn't yeah. even about the noise. Like it was just like you know how I am type shit. Is like nigga, get the fuck, like, right? Fuck you, like yeah. Co cocky doesn't make a nigga want to smack this shit. Yeah, <laughs> no, really. And the thing is, you'll be talking to somebody who gonna be here next week, and then it's like, damn, I didn't, I didn't, you and they know, hitting your face, blowing your phone up. And it's weird because it takes, bro, it takes a second to say no, I'm good, Yo. instead of just being like, you know what. Like where, what, like why? Stay there. Why? Bro, I, we gonna have to, we gonna start this interview over. Not really, but really. Uh -huh. So look, right there, right? You came up in the game. You came up under YSL mm -hmm. Thug, you feel me? Like, um, it's been a lot of people talking about, you know, like you only got your break because of Thug. And I want to talk about that too, right? But I see how, how passionate you get when it comes to that conversation. Right. I paint that picture though. Cause we ain't gonna go there. We gonna go there, but not yet. Yeah. I paint that picture because I can only imagine the people that tried the shit on you when you try to get features, and then they had to double back. Talk to me about that. Yeah, nah, like, and the thing is, I'm so lucky and blessed. I got to see it firsthand. Mm -hmm. Like people come back, like, mm -hmm. oh, what you can do for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, I don't know, like. I just made mental notes about it. But, mm. Like, you want me to talk to you about, like, how yeah, I feel talk, about it? Talk to me about those times. Talk to me. Shit, if you want, you can give me the names, too. But whatever. Yeah. I'm going to do my job. Like, nah, so you can like, give me whatever you want to give me. Yeah, like, of course, I've asked people for, um, I try to get features. From and, who? And they didn't give it to you? Um, I can't say names. Oh, shit. I thought that was. Drink some more. You sure? Ah. <laughs> 
Bel Air. <laughs> Be- this Bel Air ain't gonna get it. I need a tequila I need shot now. But, but um, <laughs> nah, yeah, like I have reached out to certain people or like um, it was a one female. It was a female artist, and I was trying to get a song with her, and she just hit back with, "Okay, well, can I get a feature with Thug?" And I kind of felt like, wait, what? She. Mm-hmm. So you asked for you got. I, I didn't ask, but like my team was trying to set it up. Okay. And um, basically she was just like, yeah, I can do it, but she wanted a feature with him. And the thing is, she was still kind of like on the rise. She she is like now, a you know, a prominent artist. Like she streamed good or whatever. But I more so felt like being a woman coming up, and you kind of like been in the same place I've been in before. You not that much that that much further than me, you know, whatever. But. I kind of felt like, damn, you should be understanding. But at the same time, with me being understanding and me just kind of being like, I'm a like player type of female, and I look at things from all like angles before mm-hmm. I before I like judge a situation. You a Virgo? You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I understood because she just trying to work her move. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll do a song with you, but what we can do? So I get it. You know what I'm saying? But it was one of them things that showed me like. Oh, so this is what's gonna go on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it got you ready for it. it. Ga- exactly, it gained me up a little bit. But at the same time, <clears> I didn't, I, I didn't really take it personal because I feel like she just working her one. Mm-hmm. She working her move. She feel like, oh, okay, she, you know, got access to this person, so maybe, you know, I could, I could get this or whatever. But my people hit back, and I couldn't even say anything because they were just like, that ain't even what we talking about. We would have rather you ask for some bread. Like that ain't that right. ain't that. You hit his people about that. You know. Um, but like, I definitely witnessed it. But honestly, too, though, now like, a lot of people have like wanted to work with me. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, with Yachty, like we was all bowling, and he told Slime, he was like, I heard Carlay like, you know, on the brink of something good. Like, I, I, you know, I want to get in the studio with her. Like, you know, he write, um, dope female hits or whatever. So he was just like, I was surprised at that. So I, I feel like the love I've been getting. You know, from the beginning to now, has been has outweighed the little lame shit that be going on. You got a lot of love. Um, yeah, but I didn't see the crazy stuff like where people try to get something and you know they don't want to do a feature or they act funny or they don't support. I've seen that for sure. Right. And you can't just tell me who. Like, give me a nobody. Like, this this is like a fly on the wall. Give me somebody who. So who, who was like, who was the matter of fact? Scratch that. Did you ever meet? Cause you in the industry, right? Mm-hmm. Did you have somebody that? It's a thug story, kind of. Mm-hmm. Did you have somebody that you really liked or even looked up to or was inspired by and you met them and they wasn't who you thought they would be or it like hurt your feelings? We heard like how Thug had, um, he really liked Wayne. Yeah. And I guess, I don't know what happened, but I, I know he he got turned off by him or some shit like that. Have you ever had one of them experiences? Um, No, not yet. Like we, let's just say no then, because we ain't gonna wish that. No, yeah, no. But honestly, like I met Rihanna one time, and I was in the studio Sheesh. with her, and she told me that she liked my eye makeup, cause like I would go crazy with that crazy color eyeshadows, or whatever. And she like just randomly like said something to me, you know. Um, for example, years ago I met Monica at a water park. She was my mom was doing some work for somebody, whatever, and you know she engaged in the conversation. Like she started the conversation first. So I haven't seen it. I don't think because maybe it's because of how I come off, though. Yeah. Like, Energy I'm is everything. so afraid of somebody just kind of, like, shutting me out that I'll do. I'm going to be respectful, whatever, and I'm going to keep it moving, you know. But I feel like everybody who I look at in the game, because, like, I'm a music head. I love music. I feel like they embrace me. Now, Have has it been times where I didn't look at people and been like, damn, I really support you. Why you don't support me? Mm. Yes. Like, it's certain people right now, I look at their page, and I'm like, oh, my God, you look amazing. I want you to win. Like, this is good. And I feel like I don't ever get that love back. Absolutely. You know what's dope about this conversation? First of all, you make, I, I had this question that I want to ask you. I told you you going to start over, but you're making it hard because you're saying a lot of good things. Right. You know what I love about this conversation? Is the fact that, what, you got, like, 1.2 million followers? Mm-hmm. You know how many girls out there, shit, even men, for real, that probably won't speak up about it. But you know what I mean? People are out there in the world who feel the like same exact way. Right. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, when I have this conversation with somebody that, Carly, right? Somebody that crawled for so many people to walk. Somebody that's so lit that who who was with Thug and doing so many things. Signed to YSL, you know what I'm saying? And 300. 
and you still going through the same thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think it's dope and mo- motivational, inspirational to so many people that look at you like, yo, damn, like if she go through that, I can go through that too. Yeah, you know no, it don't, I feel like it never changes. Like, cause there's so many levels in the game, in life. Mm. So you feel like you'll get up here and you don't got to worry about certain things, but you do, especially if you human. Mm. Like, I feel like that's just like, I don't know, one of the laws of life. You're going to always look at people and expect so much more from them and give a lot and don't get it back. I think, you know, Makes I don't sense. think it ever stops. So, it's more questions, but I'm going to reset. Uh-huh. My first question, I told myself, my first question I wanted to ask you today when I came on, I wanted to ask you this question and it's serious and I want you to take your time. Uh-huh. It's simple though. Um, We know, we spoke about Thug and his mental, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you spoke on the key situation, rest in peace. Uh, you spoke on so many others, and every time you do an interview, you speak on so many people. Mm-hmm. And, I, and of course, I want to talk about that as well, but something switched in my head when I was doing my research, and I'm like, damn. I don't think nobody asked you, like, how do you feel? Like, how are you? <clears throat> um, I'm good. Like, I'm just really maintaining... I think, like, Key passing away was, like, one of the most – I'm doing good. I think Key passing away was, like, one of the most hardest things. Like, I've been through – it's been other situations, and I've, you know, lost people. But being, like, on his journey in music and him being with me start to finish, like, that really, like, took a toll on me, I feel like, spiritually, mentally and stuff. Um, and then everything that's just going on with, like, my label mates, you know what I'm saying, that's, like, frustrating – so uh, it's been a rough year it really has like it's been a crazy year and then even for me myself um just trying to stay proactive through all of this because it's like you can't just tell people like you got to keep going you it's money to be made you know what i'm saying um so you got to keep going it's no time really to slow down it's always like go 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 so um i don't know i feel like i give myself a pat on the back because it's like i'm making it through Mm -hmm. like Pushing through. You're doing a great job. Um, Thank you. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about is um, just how you feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because I know Key was one of the first ones that really embraced you in your yeah. music career, right? Like he was like, "Yo, hop on this." Right. Let's exactly. do this. You know what I'm saying? And like, shit, y'all used to call each other best friends for real. Yeah. Um. And of course, the thug situation. Shit, even down to Gunna, because y'all was close. Right. Um. You know. We can't stop, and you feel me. And yeah. I want to take my time with this conversation because, like, is is we 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 can't stop, man. Life go on for sure. Right. But you always can take your time. Right. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. And you always can feel, and it's okay to feel. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like it's um, you know, like if you ever want to take a step back and chill for a moment, right? You can do that, and you deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I know. I really do. And I, I need, just like a break. So right. how was the um? I really want to pick your brain of like emotions right now. All right, you like, can. For real. I'm open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm why here. do you feel like you have to like, you have to be so strong and, and go on, continue to go on, and not just take some me time? Because I've seen myself, and this is what I love about myself the most. I see myself at a dark place in my life, and I don't ever want to go there again. Mm. And the thing is, when you, like, I see myself kind of just, like, I went through some things, you know? And, like, people didn't really know. I didn't really, like, talk about it. This is actually my first time. But I see myself go there and get down mm-hmm. in the dumps. So it's like, and I'm not even afraid of going there. Like, I just tell myself I'm never going there. And I know the steps that I took. Like, I'll allow myself to get down, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll just, like, put it, like, behind me, you know? Even though it's still there. And, of course, you always have to deal with, like, whatever you're battling with at some hour. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, for right now, it's, like, I don't have time to get back in that dark place. Like, I had to pull myself out of that place that I was in. And that's, like, my motivation. I don't ever want to go back there again. So, a series of questions. How what was what was you going through? Because you said you didn't talk about it. You're talking about it now. Mm -hmm. If you're okay with talking about it, continue to talk about it. Um, And if you're not, you can just let me know at any time if you get uncomfortable. But what were some of the things you were going through that – you feel like you didn't really talk to nobody about, or you feel like nobody was really there to be a, a listening ear for you. What was what was one thing that you could think of that was really hurtful? 
it was mainly like love, like just relationship stuff that was like taking a toll on me. Um, and just kind of like, I'm a type of person to where it's like, when you're around me, like, and you're going through it or anything happens, it's like, it's my own battle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm an empath. I'm big on that. But um, it was really based off of just, like, it was love drama. Damn. I was lovesick. Like, I was just going through a lot, like, um, as far as my relationship. You know what I'm saying? And it started just, like, weighing a toll on me. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I had to, like, find my own independence. You know what I'm saying? And start getting out. And all of that just came in me so fast. And then it was certain betrayals from friends at that time um, that just, like, people that I was, like, so loyal to that, like, broke my heart. Damn. And I didn't have no understanding. So it was, like, all of that mixed in at one. It was just, like, I kind of started feeling like I wasn't enough. So I felt like I was, like, really going through depression. Damn. Um, and it was bad. But I pulled myself out of it. Like, How was you able to do that? Uh, my, like, family. Like, certain family members, like, they just, you know, stuck beside me. And then, like, praying. Like, I would spend a lot of time alone at one point. Like, I would just be alone. I would be like, bitch, get your shit together. Like, mm. no. Like, and honestly, I like, a lot of people say they hate social media. And it's some people don't know. But I get inspired by seeing people win on social media. Like, sometimes when I'm going through it, I'll look at other females on the internet. And it's like, even though I don't know their life and what they go through, but I love seeing other women, like, get pretty, look good. Like, I just started, like, looking like, bro, like, because I, I deleted my social media, like, or whatever. It was gone for, like, a few months. But um, that was inspiring to me, too, like, to get back to myself, to get mm. back putting clothes on, being me. You know what I'm saying? And then realizing, too, like, good press, bad press. Mm. It's all they talk about you, you know, because once when that stuff happened, like with some media shit with what a guy with thug bickering, whatever people going on interviews trying oh, to Lucy? slander, yeah, like slander my name. That took a toll on me too, because I'm just like, it's a lie, you know, and like something that like that if it was like okay, true for something, and I didn't know like okay your angle with why you're slandering me it would be different but more so for me it was just kind of like that shit like almost broke me because i'm just like oh so now i'm on the internet going off every day it was like i had to take a step back like why they talking about you this would mm. go on when you choose this walk of life this is what you signed up for and it's kind of i can imagine yeah. the the wear it had on your relationship even like yeah that being a rumor even though it's not true the fact right. that somebody say that i can only imagine how a guy would feel Honestly, you want me to tell you something? It never affected my relationship. That's fire. That speaks, like, that's to, the, the one that speaks thing, to the dude. No, when I tell you because we got understanding. Like, we got under, we had understanding. It's like me, like, and it's anything that I go into. Like, you ask me something, I'm going to tell you the truth. I just don't like lying, covering up a lie. That's just my personality. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't. And then it makes me feel like a... Like, I'm a punk. Because what I'm lying to you for? You lie out of fear. So, like, and with us knowing that, it was kind of like, boom, this is what it is. And he know off the rip. Man, she going to keep it 100 with me about everything, you know? So, it was just kind of, like, weird. Because I feel like at the time I cared so much about looking a certain way. No, I don't care. Think whatever you want to think. Troll, please blow my comments You up. know what's crazy that you say that? Because <laughs> isn't it? it's funny how, like, we realize things at the like peak of our growth, mm -hmm. right? Or almost at the peak of our growth. I say that because you reacting to some what somebody says to you mm -hmm. makes you look crazier than really? you ignoring them. No, seriously. But I must say, I'm big on this. And this is one thing that I always stand on because I know with this whole like industry thing, they feel like sometimes you can, they feel like, I like how be I'm gonna say this. I like how Beyonce handle her stuff. Mm. You know the quote where it say, "I see why every day Beyonce don't say nothing." Now I'm a little bit like that, but then sometimes you gotta bring the you, Cardi B in. Sometimes you gotta be real. Yeah. Let people know what the truth is and yeah. set some, you know, and speak like. And I feel like when I open my mouth about a situation, they gonna feel me every time. So sometimes I ignore stuff, and then sometimes it's like I gotta let them know what it is. You know? Nah, you're right. So I think they both have their pros and cons, right? Or they both had their pros, right? Exactly. And I say like I always be. I, be talking to my girl about this, I'll be like, you know, Beyonce is the greatest for a reason. Mm -hmm. She don't let us in her life all the time. So it's, it's really 
a lot to the imagination. We can it only is. think if Jay Z cheated. We don't know. We don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she wins from that that lack of information that we have, right? But at the same time, if we go on the opposite, not trying to compare the two, but if we look at a Cardi B, Cardi B wins because of her authenticity. Right. She wins because of her her um transparency for mm-hmm. the like you know what I'm saying so people love Cardi yeah. B because she's so transparent and it's important now you got to think we in a different time like it's so many people in the world going through so much stuff mentally emotionally people need somebody to look to and be like damn I was thinking that same thing mm-hmm. like back in the day it was like forbidden to talk about whatever certain going things <laughs> like don't talk about that you right. know what i'm saying like it's it, it's like a different era now so i feel like and that's why i go back to the show it's about your purpose like i feel like for me i want people to look at me and i like to get up every day i'm jumping around but i like to get up every day and feel like i'm living in a certain purpose or i'm like helping it's spiritual but do god's work what am i doing this for if i'm like not here to like talk about when i had mental health issues and how i overcame Mm-hmm. You know, I could just be like, okay, I'm a girl that do music and I hope my music blow. But it's, I feel like for me, it's going to be like the females that relate and then be like, I'm going to stream her music. Mm. I feel like that's going to help me. Yeah, but I say that's going to be the reason a lot of people stream your music. Yeah. Because before like, they, like, granted, yes, a lot of people going to like the music. But what happens is people, they buy into the person. Exactly. And they like, damn, oh no, I fuck with her. Matter of fact, what we going to do is, and this is what y'all should do, it's a trick if y'all don't know better, know yet. We gonna when her shit come out whenever it come out, we gonna play it on on uh, on mute when I go to sleep, so the streams can just run up. That's what they gonna do because they just fuck with you. That's what they gonna do. Right. So, so I mean, I'm glad you was able to get out uh, those tough times. Yeah. Um, man. this is a a question because I have a follow up question from this. I'm just curious. Do you know how you got into those tough times? Right before you started feeling really bad. Mm-hmm. Do you know? What was happening in your life prior to that time and how how did you allow the outside noise to affect you so too much yeah like overthinking and caring about everybody else more than my truth Mm. and what i was walking in like and then also to trying to control like even in love women always go through a phase where you with a guy and you feel like he ain't doing this or you call him doing this and that it's like at a certain point you have to like look inside yourself and know that you're enough and be okay with that and roll with the punches and be like, okay, this is what the situation is. You know what I'm saying? I don't like feeling like this. I never want to feel like this again. I'm going to grow from it. Mm. It's like then I didn't understand that. It was just like, why is it not working out? Like I'm trying to I – was, I was trying to be too in control of everything around me. Yeah. You know? And that will drive you crazy. Like you can't. You just got to like go with the flow. And I feel like – focus on you even people who have kids single moms whatever like i'm not saying don't focus on your kids but always make you, time to like cater to yourself and love on yourself you know sure. what i'm saying because when you get too invested into everybody else around you like that's what that's why people to me like a lot of people slip into depression and stuff because they feel like they're not getting enough back you know my mom used to tell me this right <laughs> she used to always say in life you gotta love these three people before you can love anybody else. And it's exactly what she said. She's like, you got to love God, Jesus, then yourself. Mm-hmm. Even if you got kids. Mm-hmm. Even like, think about, if we could think about life being on a, pl- on a, on a plane that's about to crash. Right. Right. Because we always, we, 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 we birth, and then for each year, it's like we're getting closer to our, our, our duty. Yeah. If we can imagine the plane about to crash, right? The instructors always tell us, do one thing when that's about to happen. They say, Put your mask mm-hmm. on first because you can't save somebody else if you can't breathe. Right, exactly. So it, life is the same way. So it's like you got to love, of course, your higher power, whoever you believe in, God, Jesus, or right. if it's somebody else, you you, you pay homage and you, you love that person. And then you got to love yourself right after. Facts. Because if you don't love yourself, you have no love to give nobody else. Really? At all. Seriously. And I feel like that was like kind of like the root of everything. Mm. But I'm glad like I went through it. Like, I wouldn't change anything about the path that I've been on. Um, and, of course, it get way deeper. But I wouldn't change nothing. I feel like it shaped me into who I like who I am now. And I love myself at this. This version of me that I am now, I love myself. Like, not that I didn't before, but I had a lot of – I was, like, at one point, at one point I was just, like, if 
icy, just like a firecracker, like always. More so now, it's just like I'm laid back, chilling. You know what you know? I want to say through that? What? Swear to God, I'm not just saying this because you here. Because I ain't scared of you or nobody else. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, I say that to say when you live through that and you live in your purpose, people see. Right. Again, I'm doing my research. I'm talking to my girl, whatever. I'm talking to other girls and shit like that. And I'm like, yo, you know what it looked like? Swear to God, before you even said this story, really? I said, okay, I can't wait to hear this. I was like, it seemed like she grew so much. Swear to God, I, this is what I said. And really? But you can, Thank that's what I'm saying. You. From your actions, you could tell yeah. because, shit, I think you even had a, I don't know if it was you. It had to be you because you probably, want, like, I feel like you and Thug lasted a long ass time. Right. Um, are y'all still, like, I don't, I just. No, we're not together. I'm a general, so I'm going to ask. I'm yeah, fine. no, so, you good. I'm, is that something that, like, everybody know? It? Am I late? I don't, I have no um, clue. I don't think they know. I think people, I don't, I think they, no, I think they know. Like, we're not together. Okay, well, if they don't I'm know, just, thank you for, for blessing Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rider, so I'm going to be, like, there for him, you know. As you should, because he, And gang. pray every chance that I get, but. We coexist in a great way. You and know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's perfect. Um, and don't get me wrong. I've grown a lot, but I don't let nobody play with me. <laughs> so I just got to put that out there because I know a lot of people be like, I'm this, I'm that. Then they have a little setback and everybody be like, see, so I'm human. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tests me. I'm going to handle my business. And that's, you know, what, that's what I And protect myself. But, um, yeah, like. I just like let stuff roll off of my back more so now. I've grown a lot, but why do we do that as humans? Like a nigga be like, "Are you shining, bro? You lit?" Nigga be like, "Nah, I'm just chilling." Like, "Nah, take your compliment. Let me give you your compliment." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, take your you you grew a lot. You feel me? Like you came a long way. Yeah. And even if like I said this before, even if you had to go back and 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 and, and take a step back, that's cool. Right. That's okay because yeah. you're human. But like I said. I can see the growth in you, and I know your Thank fans you. and your friend and the supporters and the ones around I you can see it. No that. problem. Thank you. Um, I think it's noticeable. It's dope as hell. It fits you well. Thank you. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about. Speaking of like people not wanting to take their roses, right? Back to the conversation when I said you get really passionate about, right? I said we we're gonna talk about this. Every time, like you, when I hear you speak about being signed to three hundred YSL, being mm-hmm. um. Uh, Thug giving you that like stamp of approval Gonna give you the stamp of approval Key mm-hmm. and, and, and all these people You always are so passionate And bro Thug was He went He ain't give me shit Like you so you, Like you get so yeah. passionate No I don't say he didn't give me shit I say Not like that Like you like yeah. I had to earn all of this Yeah like he Yeah exactly He made me work okay. for all this <laughs> So I, what I want This is I, ain't, I don't want to misconstrue words But you basically, basically want you, yeah. What I get from this You make it known that I had to work for this Mm-hmm. I want to challenge you a little bit. Paint a picture. You, you have kids? You don't have kids, right? No. You have kids. If you could think about the goal that you would want your kids to, I don't know, accomplish by the time they get grown, what would it be? What mm. would you want for your kids? What, what would be the main thing you want for your kids to have or not have by the time they get grown? I think gratitude because... Okay. I feel like, like when people used to tell me like, gratitude will take you a long way. I used to be like, it's hocus pocus, like, <laughs> like whatever. But if you really think about it, if you can look at a situation you in, right? And you find the beauty in everything and you find something to be thankful for. And it sound, it's easier said than done, but a lot of people live in, they don't, they get stuck in like fucked up positions because they don't have no gratitude, which I'm still learning too, but. If you can be in a situation, right, and you can find something, it's like being in an ugly, dark room, mm-hmm. and you like, and it might be a little uh, vine growing through the cement. I don't know. And you look at it, and you're like, at least I got something to look at every day. Mm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, you might be in prison. You got a book to read. Well, I got this book to read. Mm. That little bit of like thankfulness will take you a long way. So I feel like that's what I want my kids to grow with. Just to be like, just to be like some days like, man, I had a fucked up day. But you know what? I do got these nice fresh shoes on. You know, it could be worse. Or I do got this or I do got that. Or I did just get 
an 80 on my test, you know, uh -huh. like, I feel like gratitude to take you a long way. And when you feel like that, like, can't nobody tell you shit. Cause it's like, you still looking for, you trying, you optimistic all the time. I think that's like the main thing I'm gonna show my kids. Cause I ain't really always had it. That's fire. I kind of was like a Debbie Downer sometimes. Like, man, all this shit messed up. Like, you know, like. That's fire. Tripping and stuff, but. You hit the point at the end, right? Yeah. That I was trying to get, right? But that was fire. Cause like, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm in a fraternity or whatever. We, it was something that they used to always teach us. Like when we in the room, everything is going on. You want to pick a spot on the wall. You want to just focus on it. I used to talk, it was two dots on the wall. And I used to just talk to these two dots. These are my best friends, but anyway, whatever. Right. I said to say, at the end you were saying, you ain't always had it. Right. That goes to where I was going, right? For my kids, my goal, my main goal is for them not to go through what I went through. Right. Right. My, my main goal is for them not to have the life that I had. Right. Because I know I had it hard. Mm -hmm. Going back to the initial the question or the conversation I wanted to have is, even if he did give you a handout, even if he did, right. that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? So like when I hear you get so passionate, I'm like, yo, I, I hear it and I'm like, why is she so passionate? Because it sounds like she's she trying to prove to the world that she had to work for anybody giving them. But even if you did, you deserve it because right. that was your man and that was, that was the and right of you passage. And that's what you should do when Thanks. you're in a relationship and you with your partner, it should be balance exactly and yeah so question why do you feel or do you even feel the need that that's a chip on your shoulder that you came up under thug and he signed you that was your boyfriend so people don't respect your craft for me it's not for people it's for myself mm. like and I stand on that and the thing is if we're looking at it in black and white you did you was he's a huge artist who streams crazy. Crazy. <laughs> so of course, me being affiliated with him is gonna do more, give me leverage. That's 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 a given, we know that. But as far as like my music journey, I stand on it because it's not really even for people because I know what they say, I know what they think, but I also do know it's a lot of people in this game who know like, bruh, like I heard she been doing music, she was in piano lessons, singing lessons as a kid, like people who know, and they know I'm hard. They didn't see me sit in the studio and come up with stuff. And it's people who know, but she been around Thug for eight years. If you think she ain't been watching all of these music geniuses and growing, then you're crazy. But I say it for myself because I kind of feel more so like, um, I say it for myself because it makes me feel good to know that I took a lane unannounced, and I feel like I'm devouring it. Like, I'm making it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, bro, you really just want to start doing music and you got this and this. Has he helped me on my journey? Tremendously. But I know that he's a busy man. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, what I loved about Thug, what I love about him the most is, I done did so many businesses. He's invested, like, whatever you want to do. Cause he knows, like, I'm sharp. He knows, like, I'm super creative, whatever. Um, so he was just like, whatever the resources is you need, like even far as my feet, some of my features, like he would help me and stuff, but like developing my sound and finding my way with music, like I kind of was just like on some shit, like I'm doing music. Like it wasn't like, hey, this is a plan, Doug, and we're gonna plan this out. <laughs> and I feel like it's important for people to know that because if they feel, if, if you look at something right and you feel like it was all planned out and it was figured out, and it ain't about who respect my situation or don't, but I know what I'm here for. If they mm. look at my situation and they feel like, oh, well, it ain't really no, like, struggle in her. Like, what's the, what's the, like, I'm, I don't want to make it look like I just had it easy. I want to have some layers to me. I don't want to look like the girl that's just sitting there and it's like, girl, she got a rich boyfriend. They say thug, da, 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 which is true. He did. But when it comes mm. to my music journey, I figured this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like. And then I feel like people came on and they was like, bro, she hard. And, but I had to earn his attention. And that makes me feel good like about my music because I didn't feel like he signed me just because of like, oh, that's my girl. We laying down having sex at night. Oh, I really had to get in the car like, hey, you got five seconds to listen. So it's just like, I don't want to like for people to feel like that. And if they do, fuck them. They can so, feel how they feel. It's, first that's of all, why it's, I'm passionate about it. I can imagine how, how good that would make you feel you know, really working for it, right? Mm -hmm. I asked that question, cause you're making it so easy for me, thank you, but <laughs> I asked that question because you said something towards the end again. You was like, people not, they they probably won't um, have as much respect for you if, if, if they feel like you just had it easy. Or I'm not relatable. 
But let me ask you this. Is, is relatable even a matter in the world today? Let me not ask you this. Well, I'm going to tell you, let me explain if you don't mind. Bro, we in a fucked up, bro. We, first of all, we were slaves. We, we, we were the minority. We, we were, we, like, we had it fucked up. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So for me to for so for for my peer to be relatable to me means nothing. That just right. means we in the same fucking fucked up situation. But can I say one thing? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. stop you. No, go ahead. I don't pay attention to nothing that isn't relatable to me. Everybody, ain't, everybody ain't like that. I get it. So the people who I do that are relatable. And they doing good. They inspire me. Of course, and, and I you get, get what I'm saying. Of course, I swear to God, I get the inspiration. That, like I talk about Cardi B, her being so, so, so transparent. I get that. Right. But just being, just thinking about it, right? Just again, I was thinking about it. The first thing, that, the first thing that came to my mind, my my mind was sorry for stuttering. First thing that came to my mind was, damn, bro. Like if I had kids, I don't want my kids to be outside talking about they came from the hood because I work my ass off. Right. For them not to come up in the hood, so right. for them to want to be able to be relatable to to the peers or their friend or whatever the case may be, that takes away from the work that I put in because it's like I work hard but wait, for y'all not to go through that. Can I say that? Yeah, go ahead. And that's a different scenario. And this is so crazy because I was in a studio one time, and Twenty One Savage and Thug, we was they was having a debate, mm. and the debate was can a billionaire's child really be? A full blown gangster. Right? And that's such a good topic because everybody got a different view on what a gangster is. Mm. True enough, right? Mm. That reminds me of that time. And I ain't gonna say what the rebuttals was. Cause, but What was boom, it? I mean, shit, you had to say gonna, who said what? Just. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, but some one person said, yeah, because it might just be in you. What if you might be that kid that went to school and you felt like people was talking about you and they was picking on you and you developed this heart to where it's like, hey, you know, a gangster don't mean you gotta. A gangster, you don't gotta go and kill people and shoot up houses and wear a gun and sag your pants and be a gangster. Sure, you can take care a gangster of family can be a gangster. Exactly, a gangster can be the way you are to me. A gangster, somebody who look at their problems face on, they gonna deal with them. Right. That's just to me. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, cause yo, cause you got everything that you want. That don't mean you ain't got no heart. No, but that goes back to that topic. Like, yeah, your kids could have came from, from they could have had it easy. I work hard for you, not to. You have to be in the streets. But they might get their accolades from something else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I might have, what if I had a silver spoon shoved up my ass? Like, cool. But that don't mean my battle ain't as hard as somebody who might be living in the hood. Mm. That don't mean my music journey didn't weigh super heavy on my mind as much as it do you waking up. And, you know, mm-hmm. like, who is anybody to measure somebody's, like, you know? So your kids might get their their like their struggles they might get also in their chip on their shoulder because that's mine mm. saying like this was my journey with music and guess what mm. i made y'all look at me and pay attention yes he's the biggest artist yes he has over a billion streams he does and yeah y'all might watch me because i was with him mm. but when it come to developing my sound and who i am I did this and I found my way and I fell and I dropped stuff that might have been lame to people and I took a chance because it's just like that's my struggle. I might not have, you know, like even if he did help, he helped in a lot of ways, but I always stand on that because it's like, and it ain't to be relatable, but it's to show other people like you can do it too. Because what am I doing it for? If you really think about it, we all go in a box at the end of the day. Like we all do, mm-hmm. so it's just like, what can I say? Like, I I want somebody to look at me, and to say like, dang, bro, like, bro, I was in the studio with Carla. It took her ten hours to do a song. Thug was in the next room. Mm. She could ask him for a bar, but I didn't. You do the same thing, so that's why I do it. You know, I fuck. Just that was a me. great answer. That was. A, I'm just being real. That was a, I, like. I fuck with that. I'm I fuck real. with that. Like that's why I do it, cause it's like you gotta have something. If everybody take everything from you, then it's like you gonna have shit. Mm. And that's what they gonna do, especially when it's like you got it good. You had me at um. Who are, who are we to measure somebody else like struggle? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like because just because you might not have been, you may not have grown up in the hood, but you still had some type of struggle, and that mm-hmm. and that means something. I get it. And sometimes people relate success or monetary success or um influence with no type of struggle but you can have a you could be rich and have a struggle at not being as relatable you can you could be 
million followers on Instagram and have a struggle of not having friends that take you. It could be different type of struggles. So I, For I real, that. that's why. Why that. you think it's all these? You see rich people killing themselves or. Well, commit suicide happy. and doing crazy stuff, you know, and then you might got somebody who you like, your life rough, and they, they deboing Hap- their way through life, yeah. making it happen, yeah. like, cause it's, it's, I fuck with that, you know, like, but I, I'm glad you asked that, cause I am passionate about it, but it's for me though, mm. like, and of course it is, I'm human, I do want to let y'all know, but it's like you gotta have something to put in their face, like, and that's my thing, like, hold up, wait a minute, like, bitches be like, oh, thug had a I'm like, yo, like he helped me with my music journey, but wasn't nobody Don't get there. Don't fucked up, basically. Yeah, wasn't nobody <laughs> there when it was times when I was like, nobody cares that I'm making music. Like, y'all just don't, like, it's actually good. You want to listen? And it wasn't that he didn't care, but I seen in him, I'm not lying, I seen him, like, even now with him locked up, I know he, like, she finding her way. Mm. And she going to do it. Because in his voice, that little motherfucker love music. Mm. She going to figure this shit out. Like, so... I mean, it's my thing, and I feel like he love it too. Like he know he could come in and sprinkle a wand and be like this, this, and this, which he has on certain situations. I'm get it twisted now, you know. But like, I think that he liked that about me. Like I'm doing my own thing. Like when I'm in the studio and stuff, finding my own way. I'll ask him about music sometime, and he'll just be like, I like this, or he'll be like, No, nah, I think the other one, or mm-hmm. he'll just walk in a section, a session, and be like, That's my favorite song you made. Like, and people would think totally the opposite. Like. I do have help as far as my label mates being Gunna, and I can get a Gunna feature. But even in that case, that nigga might take three weeks to send something back. And I'm still his sister that he loved to death. <laughs> you know? Yo, speaking of Gunna, right? A long time ago, you said, uh, somebody asked you, did you want to see Gunna uh, settle down? Mm-hmm. And you was like, uh, got to be the right person, something like that. Like. Yeah. It, it was something like that. So, just curious. You want some more? You want some more? You, sure? you ain't really drinking. Like, t- nah, nah, nah. I w- actually, I was just going to get. Um, what's the difference between these, though? What's, what's so that, the clear bottle on the- I don't know. They be sending me this shit, and I, I don't ask me I that because you're going to make me look bad. Because it gives you a good like, vibe. But you ain't drinking us, so you got to drink up. But <clears throat> So. I feel like this is a great interview, by the way. Oh, thank you. This I appreciate is really that. good. I feel like it shows my dynamic like it i'm here to make like, you look good you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, that's, I, that's, I why like I'm, that. that's why i'm here so i want to ask you um <clears throat> you was like basically you was like uh you don't want him to settle down with anybody gotta be somebody worth it i mean i just felt like he should be a bet ba- i felt like i still feel like he should be a bachelor like for a little bit get it out of his system and i feel like you just know when it's that person that you just really want to deal with so and I, it takes a special type of female to deal with so, so when you saw like him running mm-hmm. around with Chloe, what was you? Th- what was your thoughts on that? I liked it. Mm. I did. Um, I thought it was dope. I thought it was like, I, I like, I liked it because I feel like I like what she stand for. Everything we've been talking about, I like how I watched the interview of her and she inspired me because she was just talking about how like her just starting to be like sexy and wear stuff because she was just in a place where she didn't feel comfortable before about herself and she was like I'm doing this for me with everybody being like why you got this on she was like this ain't for y'all I like feeling like I I look cute and sexy so that's what I love okay because I feel like she had like some depth okay I wasn't okay I like that I like that uh, I was talking to one of my friends earlier. We were talking about uh, how they was going through college and they majored in these things and then they changed their major and they started making money doing other things, right? Mm-hmm. So follow me. I was like, that was great. I should create a show called The Road Unfulfilled, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking in my producer bag or whatever. I'm like, nah, I should create a segment. But I want to ask you, this is the first time I ever asked this question. Speaking of the road unfulfilled, right? Mm-hmm. But if I had to write it out, I would cross out unfulfilled and put fulfilled underneath it. If that makes sense. So follow me what I'm saying. Okay. It's not just why did you choose rap, right? But what was it that you was so passionate about? Because I think I seen an old ass interview. Like y'all was sitting on a chair. You was skinny as hell. <laughs> camera was shaking. You're like old as hell. Like old as hell. <laughs> Probably like 2015 maybe. But I, know I, I think he was doing like. Uh, Somebody was like this. Yeah, I think I don't know if you was doing like a, like you had a clothing brand. You had something. Okay. What was it you what was you doing before music that you knew you was going to pop for and what made you put that to the side? 
Mm. Long nights in the studio, like I think, and more so too, like. But what was your not to cut you off? What was what was your not job, but were you selling anything? Did you ever yeah. have like? I was selling swimwear, and then I had um, like faux furs mm -hmm. with um, this young lady named Brittany Mealy. Um, we had like a, it actually did really good, like a faux fur company named Fergo, and then I sold uh, swimwear. But my swimwear was like good. I mean, to me, I did decent. It was like money for me to, you know, float, have in my pocket, my own money, you know. Um, but, and I still have it, like have the brand and stuff, and I want to like start back doing it someday. But I don't know. Like I just really like like music so much. I love I love designing too, though. Mm. Like I like people don't know, but I sit on my iPad every day, and <laughs> <laughs> so it's the model. Oh, you oh yeah, to... oh yeah. I used to model too. Okay. Like, I used to do like some modeling stuff for different brands. I was a brand ambassador, but. I don't know, I just started doing music and I like fell in love. And then it was just like a lot of ups and downs with the swimsuit thing. Okay. And I started getting in the studio. I just was like, I'm gonna come back to it. So I didn't stop. So when did you put that to the side? When, when, when was you like, who was the hot next Victoria's Secret? Like, who, who was it? Was it Vic, Vic, who was it? Um, who was the popping? I don't know these people. Giselle is Giselle. Uh, how do I say her name? She's okay, like a super big. Um, Bella Wasn't it a black did, one? Gigi the girl did, that, that uh, do the, uh, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. Okay. So when I so at one point you was modeling, right? I'm gonna be the next Tyra Banks. At what point we when you realized or you was like, man, this isn't for me. I want to go to X Y Z. At what point in your life, do you, if you could remember? Mm, honestly, I don't. Okay. It it's, just all kind of like faded. Like, at what point in your life where you was doing like, your swimwear uh -huh. and you said it was it was keeping you afloat, was making you money, that you realized that it was just keeping you afloat, and that you really wanted to tap into this music thing? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I was doing more than keeping me afloat. It was, I was making good money mm. even with the the faux fur company. I've like made a great amount of money. Um, so at what time I never did needed you to be afloat? Because I always had. So okay, so at what time? My, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I was and that's fine. Good. At what moment in your life did you was like, man, I want to put this to the side, and I wanna, I really want to lock in with this music. I had an independent deal with uh, BMG. What is that? A music company? Um, yes. So it's a distribution. So you, a, you going too I had, fast? I had a deal. I got a record deal first um, a few years ago, like three years ago. But slow down. No, 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 no. I'm not about to let you do that. You you're going too fast? Okay. At what moment? Because you ain't. I'm when assuming I got the, you made music before you got a deal, right? They had to like no. they had to give you a deal for something. Uh, no, so yeah, I did, but but I had stopped like a little bit, like the seasons was changing, so I really wasn't going hard with it. I just like was playing around in the studio, and then when I got the deal, I was independent. I just I had went out to LA to start working on like a project and making more music after I signed my deal, and I ain't gonna lie, I got a good amount. Like I got a a little amount of money um for me and to me to me actually and i just was like i want to go hard with this music thing like mm. i want to fully focus on this and get my music brand and where it need to be and then start getting back into my my design and stuff so i asked that question because i was curious because you know a lot of artists say that music isn't their number one money maker for real right yeah so to see you have some lanes already and say I'm gonna put these to the side to make music I don't want to say confusing but I, I wonder why because I hear so many artists say that that's not their main music maker so I was wondering like what made you but I guess it was because you got that money it was like was it a bigger bag than you saw with the clothes or the swimwear mm, no but it was mine that I got for myself so the swimwear wasn't yours it was but like I'm saying like we're having multi-million dollar boyfriend mm. all of that you know i kind of went and got my own like my own bag and honestly too it was just like a lot it was super it was getting super tedious however i am going back like now i'm designing a new collection to start it back again because um i miss it and i've been designing for like the past two years like my ipad is filled with like new designs and stuff i'm doing i got so many ideas like i can draw 
whatever like i really do like honestly designing drawing making creative whatever is my first love mm -hmm. like it really is it comes like first nature like to me but um with music it's the, like the lifestyle like and i'm real hands-on too like you know how like a lot of people will have like a team of people who just do something for them and they just put their name on it that's not me mm. like that kills me you know what i'm saying like i really sit and i have to go over every design myself because i could easily go and be like girl i want to put my name on a brand let me just sell anything but it's like and i feel like sometimes i self-sabotage myself <laughs> when i do that but it's that was good. one of the reasons too I just wanted to like really fully focus on it. And I was working on my music. Um, I got the deal and I kind of felt like it's time to focus. Like, okay. So it was the deal that made you open your eyes like, this can really be a thing. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. You ready? Can we? All right, bet. Can we have some fun? Sure. You, you don't need to drink some more a little bit? Sure, I love fun. Top five female rappers right now. Oh my God. Um, why you say that? <laughs> um, Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, um, you got talking to Mike. Start over. You got talking to Mike because I need them to hear you. Top five to uh -huh. me. Um, Nicki is. I mean, I just Nicki Minaj. <sighs> Nicki Minaj. Um. Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion. Um, we talking about lyricists or just top five brand? for you? Um, give me a second. Take your time. It's okay. You need some more drink? I keep trying to tell you. I need to look at my thing. I'm just saying, man. Cause I I want to give you a real. I want to take your time. Take your time. A real, real, when you, real when you, answer. All I'm, all I'm gonna say is I'm gonna put a rule on this. Whenever you're ready with your top five, you gotta start start over. Just be like, yo, my top five female rappers all time. We are gonna take it back to school. So I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take your time. Let you me wanna, look, cause I don't want to leave nobody out. Are no, you fine? You want some more of this? Cause oh, she ain't drinking the clear. I ain't gonna cap for right now. Nikki, Meg, I fuck with Lakia. Okay. I like people that make me feel like, like they got some shit to say. Um, Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Lakia. I'm trying to think about who back from back in the day. You want this one or you want the white one too? Y'all niggas is crazy. This guy. Uh, who really like put a move on me? Lotto, and my last one would be that's four. Uh, I fucking forgot about my bitch. I forgot about. So my I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna ask you again. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yo, top five, how could I ever? Top five female rappers. And I right now. Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Doja Cat. This ain't in order. Okay. Well, Nicki Minaj is top. Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Doja Cat, Lakia, and Lotto. Okay. That's who moved me. All right, cool. I'm glad we got through that. Top five female rappers all time. All time. Or you gonna stick with the same five? All time? All time. Why I mean, you gotta, got some. that's. All time. You know I'm gonna say Nicki Minaj. Nicki, that's fine. That's cool. But I genuinely mean it. Like I'm not just saying it because girls be like Nicki Minaj. That's cool. Like, Nicki Minaj. Her wordplay is something else. But like, you like what? I don't know if your label's doing the age thing. What? Like, I don't know. I don't, that's I don't tell my age. That's fine. I think you are, but whatever. I'm not. Might be older or younger. <laughs> um, they definitely don't have it right on the internet though. But I didn't even look at the internet. Okay. You actually said it. I just did the math. But whatever. I I didn't say my year as one. Well. You said your age, probably one of the first interviews I think you did with Doug. It might have been on Vlad. I don't know, it was a while ago, but. That doesn't exist. It's cool. No. <laughs> I studied so, really, really hard. Nikki, um, Nikki Minaj. Give me some names from back in the day. No, 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 it's not. Dang, no, no, cause I'm not, cause honestly, okay, they're helping right, me because right, I right. can't think. All right, so I'll give you, I'm a, cause I just feel like. Uh, I whatever. can't, no, cause, cause honestly, like, you I'm know how you leave somewhere? There. 
and then you you end up thinking about everybody like y'all are so many female rappers that's been came that i actually love that oh, you got, i'm having brain you got you thing. got um i just feel like if i name them then it's gonna be inspired but whatever you got mc like you got uh queen latifah you got uh lil kim you got um lil kim for sure foxy brown you got uh foxy brown for sure you got um mm. pat Poose girlfriend uh wife uh she's fire Remy Ma. You I got, think all of them back then, in, in that era was real. They really had shit to say. Like they so moved. Who is top five all time? I don't like saying because I don't like putting them in order. Just know. All right, so to don't me, put them Nikki, in order. Top five all time. I'm gonna make it Nikki, easier for you. Nikki, Lil Kim. Okay, Nikki, Lil Kim. Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown. Are we talking about lyrics? All all time. It don't matter. All time. Y'all gonna, they gonna be mad at me for saying this, but I'm gonna put Doja Cat in my list. Doja Cat. She changed the dynamic of like she she hard. Okay. She just is. So we got Nicki Minaj, we got uh Foxy, Foxy Brown, we got Kim. Lil' Kim, we got Doja Cat and I'm gonna go with Megan. Megan Thee Stallion? Woo! Megan Thee Stallion said, I'm running through your nigga house like the Tomb Raider. You got to pass around, nigga. He a hot potato. Okay, I mean, that's fine. She's I mean, crazy. Like, I mean. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Um, you know? I'm going to do. So. What was the biggest fight that you had on the internet with who that got you the most publicity or that, that the blogs talked about the most? Probably make you cringe to this day, but who was it? Mm, when me and Akbar got into it, and wait, what? Yeah, I was not. <laughs> that got me happened? like that was like a thing, um, and I don't even know. I can't speak on nobody else's name. I don't want. Oh. I can't let it. I can't let it roll off you know, my tongue. Oh, can I say it? Who what? I thought it was gonna be? Who? Is it okay? Yeah. I thought she was gonna say um, Mariah the Sciences. I didn't get into it with her. Well, you didn't get into it with her, but I feel like that was a thing that was going around. I haven't got any. I haven't got any traction from that. Oh, okay. I mean, but I think it is like. I mean, I feel like it's more so of a mystery. Mmm. That's that Beyonce thing. Yeah, like it's a mystery. Like people just don't know what it is. Okay. People assume. Like somebody photoshopped the tweet that I put up. They said I retweeted a tweet. Honestly, I didn't re put the retweet up, but my Twitter is on like five people phone. I'm not gonna cap. Mm -hmm. These like my folk folks, so they might be, I don't know. But it was a tweet I didn't put up. They said I retweeted it. And if I did, or I don't know, but I didn't retweet it. And where well, there was a mistake, I don't know. And um, so it's like speculations, like, oh, they, da, da, da. she put up something. They think it's like some smoke, but, I don't know. I don't feel like it's really been like no light song, camera action. What's going on? I feel like it's more so like whispers. Like it's a thing. It's been a lot of funny tweets about it though. Mm. Like I seen like a few like little memes. What is called memes? Whatever about me and her. But I don't think that that was. I don't think it's a thing. Okay, I don't know. I mean, it might I, be. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I was just. I just started this thing. No, but I have been getting like people looking. It's. It's not. It's not a thing. It's not. It's, a, it's I, not a thing. I, I like know. people no, really ain't. They been. probably. They're just saying that because the team or is really. I'm just curious. No, it's really not though. Like, like when me okay, and Akbar okay. got into, we was on the internet. Like, nah, bitch, da 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 da, da going crazy. What happened with that? Why? Why? why it was just some petty. Me and her are so cool now though. That's like cool. that's, that's cool. my dog. Who was it? So, so stupid. Who was it that? did a video and you got the video canceled well you didn't oh, get the video i didn't get the video canceled i just told <laughs> i just didn't feel like it was like done the right way like i feel like i should have like i wanted to know about it then and then i was young then so i was real like i could be like petty a little and that's, bit. that's why i said we can have it's just the fun yeah. segment it's okay nah like, but me and ruby cool too now for real yeah like i mean like not best friends but we we cordial it's no beef like mm. hey you look cute no you look cute like that type of thing. Okay. You said I've grown. I've grown. You did. I was. I'm, you know, <laughs> so. It seemed like you felt a little out of the Yeah, like. Nah, it's good. But, um, Project is dropping. You told us last month. That's what you said. Who's. So you it's people it. in the world that's really looking at me when I say this day and then they like oh, you waiting. you said the beginning of next month. 
You said that on a podcast. It's July 8th. This is like technically the beginning. I said the beginning, but it didn't drop. It's not. I'm pushing it back because um, some just some some technical stuff. And then I want to add. Um, I feel like I got to add like two more hard ass songs. I'm not going to lie. Like it's a song with me and Key that I really want. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Please don't lie to me. because I was It's about a to say song that I really want. It's a song. It's like between three songs with me and Key. Mm-hmm. And then two, just like with this case thing is like fucked up. Like they just really tripping about certain stuff. I got Thug on there, Gun on there. Got to make sure. And it's like we're just having fun making music. Like. And with this crazy situation we in, you know, we just got to do things the right way. So, mm-hmm, it's lame. But for the most part, I want to add a song with my boy. Um, he was going to go on a deluxe, but I don't want to do a deluxe anymore. I actually want to add, like, a hard track with him. And then this other song that I made, like, it's probably, like, my fifth or sixth song I ever recorded. Um, like, when I started making music, a lot of my fans wanted, and I didn't realize it until I put my track list up, and they was all just like, this is all cute, but where's traffic? Mm. So I'm going to add some stuff to it. Um, and then I just think I need a few more days for promo. Pipe it up. Fill it. I was a little bit too scared today. Like, I should have been letting my nuts hang, and I wasn't. So I feel like I that ain't the real reason, but I ain't going to say it. Whatever. I'm always we trying here. To... It's fine. We, I ain't, ain't going to say it. Man, that ain't what listen. you told me at first, but it is what I, it's cool. We're we going to skip over that. Whatever. Um, okay, it's not my fault. Not, not, Y'all nah, nah, nah. It ain't my fault. It's not my fault. Just know there's some people that's in the... It ain't my fault, though. Just cool. know that. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. But I am adding a song. I am adding some stuff. I wasn't going to say. I'm just saying, like, whatever. Anyway, how do you feel about... No. Curious Same. question. Damn. I'm going to ask another question. How do you feel about, like, Shave Room... And all them like other blogs like fucking spiritual word. What's the other shit? What's I mean, other? I feel like they no. blowing people up for sure. You know, it's crazy. So you <laughs> like them? Before I didn't really care for it because I felt like I don't know. I feel like sometimes I like like as a young black woman trying to do my thing. It's like, bro, can y'all talk about something else? They be waiting for me to say something crazy, which I understand that's what sells, but I be getting mad because I'm like, why y'all can't talk about me, the part of the interview where I'm talking about something good, you know? But I get they need views, so you got to get sales. I ask that because you like a, 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 a part of that, like upper echelon. So, like, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, bro, not the other day, like probably a while ago. Mm-hmm. You know, I got, I'm on a rise, a little podcast and shit, and we all went out shit to get posted on shade room and shit like that. And I was thinking, like, nobody of substance want that wants to be on a shade room. Like, I, I had to think about that. I'm like, why I want my podcast to be on a shade room? Like, nobody of they actually hate it because it's, it's it's for negative negative ne- yeah. negativity. No, when you go, but the thing is though, I feel like sometimes like. It's like copy and paste. Like it's gonna be negative comments automatically. You have to know that. Like even if you put up something. And it's just the sweetest thing ever. Did you see her hair? Did she do something to her face? Like, it's going to be something to give. So, I mean, and then at, at the same time, you get people who's going to go watch the interview mm. because of it. So, it's like it was hand in hand. Like, I feel like y'all had some tea over there. Y'all ain't trying to tell me, like, what y'all talk to me? Yeah, y'all want some bull shit. They were saying. I do have uh, though. Go ahead. They were saying, they were saying, um, talk about, uh. I do have to use the restroom soon. They was they were saying, um, talk about why it ain't coming out. Oh no, nah, because yeah, like, um, it was an executive decision amongst, you know, some people at my label to um just wait a few days. And also I just at the last minute I wanted to rearrange a few songs and stuff, but and just like more promo stuff go. Like, but it was an executive decision amongst my team. You got a single out right now, or is it old? Did that. It's did, old. Did that. Yeah. Was that done, was that song done in like 2020? Um, I don't remember the year. I'm not going to lie. Did that last year? Yeah. <laughs> I did it last year. I hate y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so you did it in 2021? Mm-hmm. Yep. No. 
I, I thought I heard, like, you know how when they scratch a, a word out, like you it's said. It's 2020. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, exactly. No. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, so I was saying before, Vision 2020, I ain't fucking for no rent. Mm-hmm. And then I had to go back and change it and say it's 2020 because they was just like, that don't make sense. The bar I said. But I heard 2020, that's so why I'm like, oh, now this is... Because I'm thinking you make a lot of music. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you made a lot of music. You're like, let me just drop this. That's, that's That was it. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. All the time. That's what I was asking. That's really what I was asking. Like, that's mm-hmm. all I was asking. They so defensive. Like, that was just last year. It was, relax. Chill out. I love it. Being a... Um, uh, we get, get back a little in our series bag a little bit. Like I said, you made it so easy for me. Um, Cause you brought out questions that I wanted to ask and I didn't know how to. You made it so much easier. I thought about it. Thank you. Being, cause I wanted to ask you this, but I didn't know how to. Being a girlfriend of a rapper, and seeing how the court system or the ju- judiciary system. Hope I said it right. Fuck you if I didn't. The judiciary system are treating our rappers and locking niggas up for lyrics. Being a girlfriend of a rapper, how how do you look at that? Like, how, how I don't want to say I don't want to seem biased, but like, how fucked up is that? Like, being a girlfriend of a rapper, you you know exactly niggas. At one rapping. point, at one point, at one point, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I say being a girlfriend, because yeah, you was a girlfriend, yeah, yeah. Being a girlfriend of a rapper, and you seeing niggas getting locked up for their lyrics, but you with them every day, and you understand that it really is entertainment. Talk to me about that. Like, how how fucked up is that? Very fucked up. It's frustrating more so because it's just like being in the studio, nobody's sitting saying, I'm going to like, it's just like a vibe. Like you're in a studio vibing and you just say things and it's, I call it job talk. Like mm. if I'm just like, hey, like I got in a song where I was like, I'm going to pop it at your back because I heard that you be fronting, back fronting, you know? And it's just like, does that mean I'm finna pop something at your back? Like, whatever. Like, And it's not saying I'm a liar or I'm talking about something I wouldn't do, but it's just like, it's music. And when you listen to music, you want to feel it in your soul. So sometimes you say things that can resonate with certain people who might want to feel like, I'm going to just like be gangster as far as my problems in life. And I want to feel like, Ur, like, it's not for real, you know? I got songs on my project that's coming up and you might perceive me to be somebody that's a hothead and might wanna go and slap everybody, but that's not the case. At the same time, you know, um, it's not always about that, you know? Mm. So it's frustrating cause it's just kinda like, bruh, that's, it's, it's equivalent to getting pissy drunk and you go and say something and it's just like, okay, I was like fucked up. Like I make, I might record a song and I'm fucked up and you gonna go and say like, oh my God, you said that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's job talk. It's all being in the moment. And it's about giving something to your fans that that you know that they like and they can latch on to. And I feel like, you know, it's messed up because you're catering to your fan base and you making music for your fans. And now it's like, you making everything just so like, technical and then you just taking things out of context and building like you know a persona for somebody that's what makes me frust- like it's that's what frustrates me it's because like i've been right there and it's the things that they were saying i was just like y'all are just you know seeing them crack it down so heavy on like why so does that did that scare you or like st- steer you away from wanting to be affiliated with it, with it anyway um no because i mean I'm an artist, I do music. They're artists, they do music. All of their time is spent in a studio, like literally. And it's just kind of like, I know when right is right and wrong is wrong. And when you really just, you're an artist, it's just like, what is all of this based off of? Mm. So it didn't make me, you know, feel a certain type of way, you know? Um, it's just like uh, I feel like it's just like a transition that they gotta we gotta get through, and you know it's something that needs to be talked about. You know Jay Z just helped get the what was it something passed yeah, uh, as far as lyrics, so I feel like now it's bringing more awareness to it because it is our art. It really is like this is our art. Like for some of us, we go in the studio and it's like we say things like you might want to emulate somebody that day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just being real, like, let's just be 100. Everybody, like, rap sells. And the lifestyle sells. 
So, and that's what they want. You're taking that from us. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um, it shouldn't even be a factor of just being real. Like, What does, um, coming to a close, what does, what do you want the people to know about you? And I know we were talking about that, but I want to bring it back on you. If you had to like sit down and you can really explain who you are or what you mm-hmm. want the people to see from you, what would you what would it be? Um that I'm a female that, you know, took a new lane and just like I focused on like dominating it, um, which I'm talking about music. And I feel like that is like so many other layers to me just from being like, okay, that's just Doug's girl, like, and stuff like that. And I feel like um, I want people to know that, I don't know, like I'm just like them. Like I'm like, not saying I'm just like everybody, it might be some crazy <laughs> people out there, but you know, like I'm human, like I'm a regular person. I don't ever want to be looked at as, oh, there was a girl that went with this person or that person, which even if that is how they know me, it's just like, um, I'm human, I make mistakes. But more so than anything, like, bruh, she went, woke up, wanted to do music, and mastered it, and she's doing it. Like, I want to be looked at for that, like, and that's what she's doing. Whether you like the music or not, I tried something, and I'm making it work for me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they should respect that. And if they don't, that's cool, too. But that's more than, like, that's the first thing. Um, And then just, like, I feel like people know I was pretty down chick in my relationship. I think they know, like. That was thug, little G, whatever. But um, yeah, yeah, a few girls that I did reach out to ask <laughs> questions about. They was like, "No, nah, that's the girl that like thug be in love with. Like, that's the girl." That, like, yeah, like the, what was the viral tweet that happened? Like, I guess she was like, "I'm back on a market." He was like, "What market? <laughs> Yo, some shit like that." You'll die. And they got mad at him because they felt like, "Oh, you're this is domestic," and it was just like, "Bro, it was a funny tweet." But now we know we can't joke like that because there's a lot going Clearly. on in the world, yeah. bad stuff. So. They gonna bring that up. Like, under, you threatened that you. Yeah, like, what the I fuck under, are y'all talking about? And I understand about, though too because be it is it's women that go through real life situations, so I get it. But um, I would say that's it. Like I don't know what to say. I would want them to take away from me because I feel like that would be like me really caring a lot on what they think but yeah like that that was enough it's my music my music my music like yeah she doing her thing like she really wanted to do something and she like set out a goal and she's achieving it you know and you are and i feel like like i said it's, it's people can see it I hope i ain't get too deep for you in the oh, no. conversation because i'll be trying to like no nah, hey. you good i feel like even if it was deep we still kept it like it, people can digest it. It ain't too crazy. We ain't talking about nothing. We might get you know persecuted for it. Like we yeah, could. Yeah. Hopefully not. You know, no niggas be crazy. That was a, um. It was a great conversation. Um, talking to you. Uh, did did they give did did your label give you uh tentative data? Anything like did they give you any leave you with mm-hmm. anything? Yeah. So I'm thinking uh next Friday. Yeah. Sure. So so not this Friday, but what's next Friday? The this is vi- so I was just letting you know about video. You you know you gotta say the date. Let me because they don't know when we recorded well, my this. Ca- Okay, so enter from Carlay. Why so? Carlay is dropping on July fifteenth. Was the eighth? It might be dropping on July fifteenth. Yes. Or you no, gonna say gonna it drop is? On, it's dropping on July fifteenth. All sure. right. Okay. Next Friday, y'all get ready. And yeah, people so nosy. They want to know stuff. I feel okay. like I poured it all into my music. What features you got on here? Um, YSL. Gang. Gang, yeah, they heard I like. We heard that. Yeah, Young Ma, he's hard, dumb hard. I feel like he, yeah, Des Dior. Wait, what? Des yeah. Dior make music? Yeah, Des Dior. That's no, that's not okay. But. Yeah, Des Dior, um, and Bad Baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty that's good. A, that might be a viral moment. That's pretty good. Yeah. You you think so, that's gonna be a viral moment? Like yeah, everything we talk about, like, like your features. Is. I feel like with Bad Baby is is different. Oh, the song. Is yeah, be like oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And too, I feel sure. like people don't know she hard for real. Like they don't you know, know that she. she hard. They don't know that she can write her own shit. What world are you living in? Oh. Now, now I'm gonna go to you. Oh, okay. I, I be know. I be out the loop. But I the Bad like Baby, be, I feel like I, a lot of niggas know. I feel like know. they be. I feel like they be playing on my like my sis got hits, but I feel like 
dating I feel like that was a back in the day Like thing. she can, yeah, no. I feel like that was like when she first like started, when she, they thought that. Yes. I feel like niggas know him. Yeah. Honestly, like just be honest. Like I'm not even gonna lie. And it's, you know what's sad though? I'm gonna be honest. I hate the fact that I know that. I just feel like a lot of people probably don't know that. But yeah, I, I, I hate the fact that I do know that because like her shit be hard. No, she's hard. Like, her shit so be hard. I you fucking like with, um, go. you fucking with Glorilla? Yes. I fuck with her movement. That shit. And I through. actually like her. Like I listened to her snippets on um her page. I fuck with all of them. She had one when she was talking about like love, talking about how she just be going back. I was like, bro, I can relate to this. Like I got. I fuck her. with her. I like the fact that she herself too. Speaking like, of Glorilla, I gotta know before we get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Top five girl anthems of all time. You already know, fuck nigga free. Um, fuck nigga free. This is easy. What's that? Sitting in the back of the bins and my feet go up. What's that? Oh shit! Come on, yeah, that was a that was like every girl had that caption on their page. Oh, that's uh, Nicki Minaj and uh. We'll figure it out. Fabio Foreign, yeah. Okay, Nicki and Fabio Foreign, Glorilla, fuck nigga free. Um. This is easy. Come on. Y'all already know Bodak Yellow. Bodak Yellow. Um. I like Coley Ray and Carlay. Okay. Um, shake it, shake it, shake it. Uh, uh, yeah. What? But mm, I'm talking about for me. Let me think. Female anthem? This is easy. You was tripping. Seeing green. Seeing green. So name the father again? Um, I said Nikki and Fabio. Mm -hmm. Um, fuck nigga free. Uh -huh. Bodak yellow. Uh -huh. Um, what was the other one I said? Seeing uh, green. Seeing green, and then you said Colaboy and Carly. Yeah, that's my five. But it, what else? What? Give me another oh, one. You is tripping of all time. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. wait. Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce, hot girl, uh, hot girl summer. I'm sorry, you had a terrible ass bitch. I'm sorry, by the nigga. Y'all mm. got a terrible six. Give me some more then. You I'm got fucking. Here. What's the girl that was married to uh, Nas? Khalees. Khalees. Oh, you ladies pop that, that pussy. Part back? I was, of all time. My milkshake. No, that's that's all time. I'm sorry. Of all time, like y'all. I'm so even, sorry. Even, even, if milkshake. About, even if we talk about new milkshake. Age, we got we got um we got uh. Give me some. What's the two girls? Uh, JT and um City Girls. What's the yeah, song? I was forgetting about What's all the those. Song? What's the song? Uh, Real ass bitch. Give a fuck, fuck about it. Like, like, come on. Like, yeah, yeah. We forget like, shit. Look, right. I was thinking like for right, I right said, oh, now. Tom, okay, like, City Girls for nah, sure. Real ass bitch. Give a fuck man. about it, nigga. Carly, that is. <laughs> and also, what else? It's a bunch of, it's a few. Top five. I'm just trying to think about what's coming to my head like right now. You got far as all time. City Girls. Shit, even, um, well, Kim had one, um. Ladies' night, get money. Fuck, like, come on, like. Um, I wasn't thinking that part back though. It's cool. It's fine. We got your six. Carlay, everybody. Also Mix. include real ass bitch. Give a fuck about a nigga. Facts. Um, what else? Facts. It's a, it's a lie. It's too What's many. What's one song you? If I, if if you was on, if we playing Hangman, right? You had to recite one song word for word, or you would die. What song would it be? Like that was the one song I could do. You gotta recite it. You gotta recite it word for word, or you be homeless for the rest of your life. What would the song be? Lil Boosie, they they dyking. <laughs> How it go? That was How it go? Two two red bones kissing kissing in the back seat. Girl, don't stop. Keep going. That relax me. Yeah. You want me to join in? Then that's me. Yeah. I like girls who like girls that attract. Keep me. going. Her and her friend got drunk and she made a move. Keep she, put a, she put a girl on her back. Wait, and she couldn't. Wait, wait, wait. She let the girl. Wait, wait, wait. She let the girl on her stomach, so she couldn't come refuse. Now she confused. She like niggas too. You bisexual. It but is it's cool. cool. Wow. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, Carly, everybody. Uh, project is dropping on the fifteenth. Yes. Um, name again. Um, enter. 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 Carly, appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you. I'm gonna put you on the spot real quick before we get out of here. Well, interview done. Can I get a follow back? Oh, no, I'm just saying. Of course. That's one. Two is, if, so I've been doing this little thing with my interviews, right? Mm-hmm. 
and like I be promoting this shit and like they what they say, like you never like that. Basically, you gotta ask. So they like you know what they say. I don't know the word. It's but maybe. if I post this, can you uh, can you collab with me or? Yeah. Are mm -hmm. you a woman of your word? Can you make can you make sure is is? I'm gonna make sure, sure it's something that you like. Any bad moments, like just nah. like. I, that's I don't the, want the I'm gonna post that on my own. Yeah. But the collab is gonna be something that you like. I promise. Okay, cool. You, like good clip. You sure? Yeah, you yeah. wanna shake on it? I will. You a woman of your word? I'm a woman. It's woman on of camera my word. and on audio. I'm a woman of my word. Right. And send me like five different clips to choose from. I'm gonna like which you, one do you wanna? I'm gonna do all that. Okay. I'm gonna do all that. Appreciate Let's you see. again. Carlay, this is good. Dropping 15th. Is it gang? Is it rap? Appreciate it.